It was this a is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm true. gonna give it up. Jake versus my uh Jake versus Mike happen. Yep. Jake, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Facts. You yeah, watch it. I caught a lot of the highlights. I, I I wanted to watch it, but I had to work. And then while I was at work, some dude had Netflix on his phone, so I caught a little bit with him. Mm. But we did you see Mike Tyson son interview him? He turned around. I and, missed and that he, part. Yeah. His, uh, oh his, wait, you talking about when uh yeah when his, his butt yeah. Was out. <laughs> So I went on Facebook, Trav. I saw a the post. Place, right? They said, who who wore it better? And it was J-Lo butt out and Mike Tyson butt out. Mike competing with a dog. <laughs> Mike competing with a dog. Hey, how I take about J-Lo? J-Lo? Yeah. I think she is the most unattractive 10 alive. Well, I guess it ain't such a hot take no more. Then. You think that's the same thing? <laughs> well, yeah. along the lines of the same thing. Like, yeah. I can look. Mm. What's that? And and I'm not saying uh, Angela Yee is a ten, but she's somebody that I look at. <laughs> no, she's somebody that I look at and say, "Yeah, you tr- we doing that thing again." I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, let's go. All right, let's just stop it there. All right. That's so it. yeah, yeah, I did see that, mm. and I was like, "Yo, Mike is out here wilding off rip," Damn. but literally, go. <laughs> 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 but yeah. this is something that Mike Tyson do, and it made it made me say the the Mike Mike might be showing up tonight. You thought that? I didn't think that. Not for real. Yeah, I, I looked at it and I was like, oh shoot, this the old Mike yeah. right here. Mike, the type of guy to get on a, a, a broadcast and show us. But literally, that's a fact. <laughs> whenever they were, uh, whenever they showed uh, Mike walking to to, to the ring. Mm-hmm. And I do this with UFC a lot. Yeah, I look at in, 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 in the, 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 the fighters' eyes. Yeah, I knew when he was walking out, he was done for. Dang, I knew he was done for. Whenever Sugar Show came out, I saw his eyes, and I was like, done for. He lost. I, mean, I still think he won, but well, all right, all right, try out. I thought that from the rip i've been saying for months yeah jake is gonna knock mike out I and was i was up. fearful that mike might even <laughs> i can't say that right hey we gonna say it this video <laughs> all right but yeah <laughs> I, I, I was fearful that mike might not make it out the ring yeah yeah and the first round was kind of sort of competitive some people say mike won yeah, I got Mike winning the first one of the first two, but go ahead. Yeah, the second round, everybody was like, ah, it's a toss-up. And after that, it was all Jake. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, they, they got to a point where it was like, I wonder why Jake ain't going hard. Because in my opinion, in my opinion, he wasn't going hard. Can I say something? Go ahead. You about Check to call out. him sorry? No, oh. no. Check it out, right? Prior to the fight, I had Jake Paul by... Knockout. I was thinking maybe second round, right? Mm-hmm. Uh I learned I, I heard the, the 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 rules ten seconds prior to the fight. Mm-hmm. And they said that it had to go at least four rounds to even be considered an actual match. Uh, so when I heard that, I, I my, 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 my 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 mindset changed from Jake Paul second round knockout to Jake Paul by decision. Why you went straight to decision versus... Because uh, it th- had to go at least four rounds for it to actually count. But at, why not knock him out in the fifth then? By the time the fifth round come, Mike Tyson going to know enough about Jake that oh, he's okay. not going to get Fall knocked the, out. Okay, I see what Yeah, so yeah. whenever they said the rules, I, I automatically knew it was going to be a long fight and mm. they was going to give it to Jake. Okay, okay. Which which people was um online saying that... uh. They show Mike Tyson go for a swing, mm-hmm. a clean swing, and then stop. And they were saying that the whole fight was rigged. I don't think it was rigged at all. I think that Mike Mike came in compromise, and I mean, I just think Jake Paul tried to make the fight last so it can actually count as a win for him. Yeah, but see, shout out to Jake and Mike. Jake rocked Mike a couple times in the yeah, fight. Yeah, he go to drop him. Yeah, yeah. Why well, didn't he though? But it, see, it was before the fourth. Was it before the fourth? I feel like even in the late rounds, Jake rocked him a couple times. Uh, but let me say this, Trav. And then instead of going, he 
took a break. Would you would you go at Mike Tyson? Even if he's uh, wrong, see, would see, you go there you at go. him? They, they, see, that's where I'm at, right? I was thinking that. I said it's either two things. It's either Jake felt bad for Mike or Jake knew that going in was dangerous. So he was like, even though I got him rock, I ain't taking yeah, a chance. I, I don't think I'm gonna just go bad. for the dub. I think it was the They same. did ask him in the uh in the post fight presser about if he took his foot off the gas. Let, let's see what he said. Let's do it. Did did you carry Mike? Yeah, I mean a little bit. Yeah, like I just, there was a point where, you know, I was just like, okay, he's not really engaging back. And so it, I don't know if he's tired or whatever. And I could just tell, you know, his age was showing a little bit. And I just have so much respect for him. And that, like, violence war thing between us, like, after he slapped me, I wanted to, you know, be aggressive and take him down and knock him out and all that stuff. But – that kind of went away as the rounds went on. I truly, truly believe in my skills and, and my ability and, and my power. And the cruiserweight division is seemingly open for for the taking on that timeline. And I believe that I can become a world champion and do it in within six years of starting to learn how to throw a jab. Mm. I respect his answer. You respect it? I respect it. That's I find it hard to believe, man. You find it hard to believe? I find it hard Why to believe. Why is that? I done seen Jake enough to know clout is everything. Clout rules all. I think that if he had the perfect opportunity to knock out Mike, he taking it. You think so? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think that he took it easy. I think he was scared. I think he was scared to... to like, he rocked Mike and said, oh, I got him rock, and I do want to take it, but I know Mike is too dangerous yeah. to do that against. If he prioritized the clout, then what he said, I can see why you don't, you know, agree. Mm -hmm. um, I do respect his answer, because he was basically saying, I could have, mm -hmm. but, you know, Mike age and whatnot. I do respect that. Yeah. I'm not saying that's true or not. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, respect no. I, I that answer. Saying. I get what you're saying. I honestly feel like, though, mm. if that was me versus Mike and I'm training, even if I got him rock, I watch, I probably watch more, I want to say Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. highlights more than anybody. I know with Mike, it just take one time. No, oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. So maybe Jake knew that. That's what I think. Yeah, but now Jake was taking. He was was, 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 was was swinging. Yeah, I know. He, I saw. He, he 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 was trying to you know do damage, but yeah, that's more to my point where I think that uh, he 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 was like, I know I got him rocked, but I ain't going in. So do do you respect Jake? Well, nine times out of ten, you are don't. Why don't people no, I, respect no. Jake? As I, a I respect Jake as a fighter. Yeah, I I said that for a while now. I said that. He do a lot of gimmicky fights. People hate that. Yeah, that's but a fact. he can clearly box. And that's why he continuing the path that he's going on. And is actually smart because now people want to see him lose. People want to see fact. him get knocked out because for one, he do gimmicky fights. And then when he didn't do a gimmicky fight when he fought Tyson Fury, he lost. And he he is a, a whole character. He he plays into fact. the heel role. And when you do that, people want to see you lose, which Floyd's whole career, uh, a bulk of Floyd's career was based on that. Floyd had me. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to see Floyd get knocked out. God. And and uh, when he fought Conor McGregor, I remember I was I was uh, in a relationship with a girl at the time. I was I, we was in we we was about to get married. God dog. And we sitting there watching the uh, Roy, uh not Roy, uh Floyd Floyd versus Conor McGregor fight. Either she asked or I said something along the lines of like, come on, uh, Connor. And she looked at me and was like, how you going for Connor? And I was like, Floyd just a little too cocky, man. He too arrogant. And he uh, um, you talk a lot of up. trash. And then she said, Connor do the same thing. I wasn't a big UFC fan just yet. Yeah. I didn't know that Connor do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I knew was Floyd. Yeah. So I was sitting there like, you know, I want to see Floyd hit the flow. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we got into it. We both sucked our teeth at each other, but we continued to watch the fight. Mm. Floyd put them hands on Connor, and 
That was that. <laughs> God. And now, now, once I became a fan of UFC, I saw that Connor talked the same amount of trash. But for some reason, I still like Connor though. Like I think it, it's the you know what it is. Floyd is a God dog. Bleep that, by the way. God <laughs> dog. And I think that that's the point. And when I say that, I'm only talking about like the way that he. There's a certain. There's a different kind of arrogance that. Uh, certain kinds of people carry where it's all about money, chains, yeah. clothes, cars, stuff like that. And then there's the people that just get rich and then, you know, just have a good time and yeah. enjoy their life. Yeah. And I think Connor is that one to get rich, just have a good time and enjoy his life. While Floyd is like, nah, I'm going to show y'all I'm rich. Hey, I'll buy you if I want. Yeah. And, I, and I think that there's a difference there. And yeah, that's the I reason. Feel but I, feel but I still do understand her standpoint because Connor, even though he is doing the i'm gonna have a good time and enjoy my life there's a lot of flashy there yeah but it's a different kind of flashy than <laughs> yeah you stupid shout out to floyd man yeah no I, I i i feel you on that dog i feel you on that i feel like a lot of people don't like jake because of the gimmicky fights yeah which i can't respect him because of that it's like i don't care if you a good fighter it, it, it's like who 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 are you actually fighting? Mm-hmm. That's like you you can be a, a great ball player, yeah. but if you're not playing against no real competition, yeah, then it's just just like I can't say you. I can say you good. Mm-hmm. I can't say that you great. Yeah, yeah, facts. So, facts. but yeah, he um, but I mean, with that being said, though, I think it's gonna gonna be did, hard did you- for him to actually fight a great fighter. Just due to the fact that they know what come with fighting him. Yeah, yeah. He he said that he trying to move on to the likes of Canelo and uh, other people like that. And then Tank called him out. He, he he's not fighting Tank. Why you say that? Tank has Tank has everything to lose. Jake Paul has nothing to lose at all. Well, Tank called him out. Tank said he want to do it. It ain't gonna happen. And it ain't on top happen. of that. I think Jake might get him. It ain't gonna happen. That's why I'm saying it's not going to happen because Tank, Paul, yeah. this t- Tank, Tank. Tank weighed what, like what, 135, 145? Where he at? Yeah. He's yeah. like 5'5 five, five or something Yeah, like that's that, what I'm saying. And Jake, doggone, like, six I think. 6'1". He's 6'1". Yeah. yeah and, I think he's 6'1", but it, yeah, it ain't and, 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 and if Jake can make 200 and something pounds and he cut down to, let's say, they meet at any kind of way, I don't care what they meet at, Jake has the power advantage off rip. That ain't going to happen, it, though. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about if it do. If, it, oh, yeah. if Jake come out there just a wailing, at some point, he's going to catch him. If Tank ever decide to swing back, but. Tank going to win by points if they fight, or it's going to be a late knockout. A late knockout. So you're saying Tank going to win regardless? Yeah. Tank will either win by points, or it's going to be a late knockout. I think the. Uh, and let, let me say this. Jake. Jake cannot make the weight that uh, Tank boxes at. He can't. Mm-hmm. Tank will have to put on weight to fight Jake. And he's not going to do that. Hypothetically speaking. Yeah, I'll but yeah, no, no, that's that's kind of my point. It's saying that if Tank really want to fight, he's going to put on some weight to fight Jake. That ain't a good. That you. That's what. That's a no no. That's you, like you know, any time that if Alex Pereira go up to fight John Jones, there's no point. So. So, most of Floyd fights, mm-hmm. Floyd dodged most of the fight. You 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 you, you know get jab yeah, jab yeah, jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Tank would probably do. I think it would be a boring fight. I think it will go to a uh, distance. Mm-hmm. That fight would be like him versus Mike Tyson. If I'm being honest, it's gonna be boring. It's gonna go to the uh, distance. But I think Tank is more polished as far as a boxer goes to where he. Would know how to actually win, so I, I I don't see Jake Paul beating him at all. I think Jake could Jake could get him. I don't think he could. Yeah, we just I hey mean, it, drop it, down a, in the comments. Let us know because I'm about to get to something else. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. Man. Jake is too heavy, man. The the hand. Let me give you an example, right? You know what? I can't. I can't because I'm not big on boxing to give you the perfect example. And even if I was, I will probably give you some names that you'd be like, who is that? <laughs> so. But yeah, I mean, if I was to use UFC, then, you know, that would help. But it, th- it, that's a totally different sport. 
he he's not beating Tank. And, and check it out, I don't like I like Jake far more than than I like Tank. Mm. But if I'm being honest, he he's not. That's that's that trail. The size makes a difference, man. There's a reason that they have weight classes. There's a reason. Trail. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul is not beating Tank in no fight. It it it. it it won't even come close, dog. You think that uh, the reach ain't gonna play a difference? The reach would play a fat factor in it, but what Jake I, Reach is longer than Tank. But what I'm saying is he's polished enough. That's like saying uh, I'm saying Jake is polished enough. It not like Tank. Let, no, I, let's I, say I, I'm hit me out. You. Hit me out, Trey. But see, here's the thing. I'm agreeing with you. If Jake was to get down to Tank's weight, there's no chance. There's no way. But. That ain't going to happen like that. The only way that this fight happens is if Tank puts on weight to fight Jake. That's where it gets tricky. When you put on weight, what do you do? Get slower. Thank you. But with no, but I'm talking about overall skills, dog. Yeah, I it, let, let me compare it like like this, right? Mm-hmm. You got you got Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. You got Ben Sim- Sim- Simmons, right? Mm-hmm. If Ben Simmons wanted to, I feel like he could shut Steph out in a game of one on one, mm-hmm. but then Steph got too much skills to where Ben Simmons is still coming up. He didn't do enough yet. Steph done been through it. Mm-hmm. So if Ben Simmons stops Steph to 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 the right side, Steph got thirty moves to, to the left 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 side and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, Tank done put in that work. He done been through enough to where. He couldn't even knock out Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is 60. Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson been through those ropes. Tank went through those exact same ropes. That's all I'm saying. If he can't knock out a 61-year-old. Let me give it. And, and, and Tank is faster than Mike Tyson, even if he do put on weight. Yeah. Go let, ahead. Uh, let me give you your same example, right? Go ahead. Let's say Steph Curry yep. somehow, some way, put on the uh, size to be the same size as Ben Simmons. Yeah. You think that game go the same? Yeah, because Steph Curry can still shoot. Steph Curry can still lay, lay up. Steph Curry <laughs> still got those intangibles that Ben Simmons don't got. Yeah, I know. I think his dribble stays the same, but I think the shot goes different. Just because he grew a foot? It, it, yeah. I think that your height plays a factor in the way you throw the ball at the rim. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. You don't think that Steph Curry played enough games to know how to adjust his shot? I don't know. Because he shoot against small people, against tall people. Yeah. He shoot off the fade. He shoot off the step back. Yeah, yeah. But all of that at his size, when that ha- when that growth happens, it, it changes things. I When I was, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 16, when I got 21, my shot wasn't the same as it was when I was 16. But you got to look at it like this, though. Mm-hmm. Steph is world class. Yeah. He's argu- arguably the greatest at his position. Mm-hmm. Tank is arguably the greatest at his size. I agree. I agree. You get what I'm saying? So it's like Jake Paul is not. Jake Paul is in nobody top 50. No, so, I know. I know. But so it's just like saying somebody that's not in the top 50 has a potential to beat somebody in the best ever. It's like a one but, out of a million chance. Hit, all right. Back to Floyd, right? Go ahead. When Floyd make his fights, he always puts the advantage on him. So whenever the contracts get negotiated, he say, well, they got to come down to this weight. They got to wear this uh, size gloves and stuff like that. I think that that's going to be the case when it comes to uh, Jake. I think he going to have the, the, uh, the hey, he got to meet me at this weight. We going to wear these gloves kind of things. But see, though, that's not going to happen. Yeah. We because talking about a hypothetical. Hypothetically, so. yeah. because I'm saying if Jake, okay, if Tank fight Jake, right, mm-hmm. he has zero, excuse me, to gain at all. Yeah, I know. I know. Right? Jake has everything to gain. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, if they were to come up with a set of rules, if Tank don't like the rules and agree to it, the whole thing, a no It's off, yeah. So, But what I'm if he saying, do agree? If they agree how how both of them are 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 are, are now, let's say you know what, it the, the the match don't don't even count y'all both of y'all boys show up y'all wait let's fight, right? Mm-hmm. I still got Tank. Dang. All right. And I'm saying that just due to the fact that Tank has been through enough 
to where I think he yeah. can beat Jake Paul. And I listen, I want you to understand that I'm not disagreeing with you. I understand. Well, I am. I understand everything that you're saying. I just think a little differently. So we can end that there because here's the thing that I really wanted to bring up. What? Clarissa Shields says she'll knock out Drake. You Who? St- Clarissa Shields, the best women's boxer in the world. So she'll knock out Drake? Jake. Jake. Try out. She a woman. Try out. But she the best woman in the world. You trying to get us shadow banned again. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, Trav. <laughs> nah, I kind of, actually, now this kind of goes into your point about a, a tank. Clarissa Shields. She said she'll go out there right now, the way that she at right now, and then uh, knock out Jake. But yeah. She couldn't knock out me or you. <laughs> you know what's funny? What's that? I ended up seeing a highlight video of her getting knocked down. And I was like, if you got knocked down by a woman. Yeah, it's no man, <laughs> boy, boy. All right, let, let, let's scale it back. Let's scale it back. <laughs> no, All right. Go ahead, dog. We, we don't want ham on this video, so let's just let's relax. All right, drop down in the comments. Let us yeah. know what y'all think about uh, Mike versus Jake. What do y'all think about Tank calling out Jake? And uh, how do y'all see that going? And yeah, let us know what y'all think, man. That's we'll see y'all fact. next time. Yes, up.